I'm Dr. Samitria McFall Dickerson, Assistant Dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences at Savannah State University. And I am Wanda Lloyd, Chair of the Department of Journalism and Mass Communications at Savannah State. And this is Teaching with Class. Teaching with Class is a program produced by the Department of Journalism and Mass Communications on the campus of Savannah State University and will bring you exciting news, commentary, and features from the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, a college we refer to by its acronym, CLASS. In addition to the elements from CLASS, we will bring you special highlights from Savannah State University, which we will sometimes refer to as SSU. So Dr. McFall Dickerson, you were the tour guide for an exciting journey through class. Yes, we recently did a department by department walkthrough of class and we spoke to department chairs or faculty from every corner of class, top to bottom, including you, Professor Lloyd. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences here at Savannah State University. CLASS is the largest college here at Savannah State with six departments and more than 12 majors and concentrations. Regardless of what your major is, you will spend some time with us here in CLASS, so we'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our dean and have you meet our wonderful faculty and staff who will help you as you matriculate here at Savannah State University. So please, take a moment to learn more about the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Bob Smith, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences here at Savannah State University. On behalf of the faculty, the staff, and the students of CLASS, welcome to the largest college of the university. We offer a wide range of majors across a variety of disciplines. Our mission is to provide you with the best educational experience to prepare you for a career, for active engagement, and for a lifetime of learning. Again, my sincere welcome Hope you enjoy this video tour of the college, your college. Let us know how we can help you get anywhere from here. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Political Science and Public Affairs. Uh, so I teach primarily Homeland Security and Emergency Management courses, which uh, were part of the Political Science and Public Affairs Department. And uh, there are two undergraduate majors in Political Science and Public Affairs. Uh, a Bachelor of Science in Political Science and a uh, Bachelor of Arts in Homeland Security and Emergency Management. So we're, the department is very much about preparing students to be informed, empowered citizens, and being leaders in their communities, and also preparing to be leaders in the global economy. The Department of Journalism and Mass Communications prepares students in a global society to develop careers that will help them become communicators and also will build the capacity in the industry, the communications industry, for uh, diversity. The communications industry is looking for people like the students that we train at Savannah State University who can be videographers, writers, social media experts, and graphic designers to help them get their message across. And I'm also proud of the fact that we are strengthening the journalism part of our program because that really is the foundation for communications. If you understand journalism and you are a communicator, then that's the foundation that will help you become um, a better communicator in all areas of our, and all concentrations in our major, including online journalism, which helps prepare our students for print and digital careers, public relations and advertising, and video and audio production. Hi, my name is Daryl Thompson, and I am an assistant professor of theater and dance here at Savannah State University, and we have our visual and performing arts degree. I want to tell you a little bit about the theater and dance department that we have. Um, our dance department is located in Wiley Wilcox Gym on the second floor. We have a beautiful new flooring up there. Uh, several classes a day are held in the theater, under, uh, excuse me, in the, in the um, dance studio. Underneath the dance studio, we have our black box theater where a lot of our theater classes, such as our acting classes, our improvisation classes are held every day. Sometimes we have some of our classes over here in Payne Hall, and those include classes like our Intro to Theater class, which 
everybody loves the intro to theater class. If you don't take it, you're just missing out on a lot of fun stuff. We also have our history classes and our speech classes over here also. Now the theater department, we put on at least two shows a year, sometimes more. We do two main stage shows over in Kennedy on the theater stage over there. Uh, one of them being the Black Heritage uh, Festival that we do in February. We have a huge play and have huge audiences come see those shows. Uh, we also have our students are able to direct their own plays also. They have the choice of using the Black Box over in Wiley Wilcox or they can use the theater stage over in Kennedy. We really encourage our students to get involved and to work toward getting as much information for their degree as possible. Uh, once you graduate with your degree, you can move on to um, the, any MFA program at a college, or if you wish, you can go on for your PhD. You can also go right on into the business. We prepare our students to do a lot of things in the entertainment industry, not just acting. We have design courses teaching the student how to design sets and costumes and makeup. Then we also teach the students how to build these things once they have the design classes that they've finished. They can build the sets or they can build um, the costumes that they make. It's really an interesting program and it really does prepare you to get out and make a good earning, a good living in the entertainment industry. And with Savannah, um, Savannah Georgia is becoming a huge location for filming nowadays so you really do have the opportunity to not only learn here at the University um, at Savannah State University but now you can go out and get the experience with some of the film companies that are coming into town. Hello I'm Arthur Wright III, professor, assistant professor of music and director of university bands here at Savannah State University. I'm here to talk to you all about our BFA degree and our concentration uh, in music. Within music, we have several emphases, one being vocal, the other being instrumental, and the other being keyboard. All three emphases help the student prepare for futures in teaching, performing, or producing. We have several classes that the students can take. Music theory, music history, beginning keyboarding, advanced keyboarding, uh, several ensembles, choral ensemble, there's a variety of instrumental ensembles, uh, and then we also have several opportunities for the students to take applied lessons in their uh, emphases. Hello, I'm Nicholas Silberg. I am an associate professor of art here at Savannah State University in the BFA program. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what we offer in the visual arts. Uh, we have several hands-on courses. Um, we have digital art courses. Um, and we have some business art courses preparing you for either an entrepreneurial type of um, job career or going on to get your MFA, your graduate degree, um, or doing civil service for your community. So I just want to let you know that we have um, several studios. We have a printmaking studio, a full drawing and painting studio. We have two computer labs, Mac labs fully outfitted with software, Adobe Suite, we have a digital darkroom on campus. Um, we also have a photography lab, a uh, traditional photography lab where you learn some of the old 19th century processes of making art photos. Uh, we have a sculpture, fully outfitted sculpture and ceramics studio. Um, and we also do a lot of interdisciplinary activities with several majors on campus. We also offer, for instance, a uh, forensic photography class with the forensic program on campus. So we have several opportunities for interdisciplinary arts uh, throughout the campus and community. We also, speaking of the community, we also offer a lot of opportunities out in the community. Um, gallery visits, we have artist visits. Um, we offer several internships uh, with artists in the community in Savannah and in Atlanta. I'm pleased to be here to introduce you to some of the things we do in the Department of English Languages and Cultures. Most students get to know us first through their composition classes but we also have major, a major in English language and literature and we offer courses in four different languages, Arabic, Chinese, Spanish, and French. Uh, and then for our major in English language and literature, uh, we try to provide a lot of flexibility for students so that they can concentrate in literature or in writing. Uh, we're trying to build up our writing program so we're adding some professional writing courses 
and we're moving towards digital media. We also have several different creative writing program uh, courses. For our um, for the literature major, we have courses in several different areas, including world literatures and an emphasis on African American literature. Uh, we are we have several different organizations to try to help with students with various things, uh, or to give students the opportunity to help with various things, and so they can help with our literary and, and artistic journal called Estuary. We have a chapter of Sigma Tau Delta, which is the English Honorary Society, and we have the Spanish Club. And with Spanish Club, they get involved with various sorts of activities and sometimes watch movies. Um, for our languages, we, we, we have an emphasis on cultures, which is why cultures is part of our department title. And we have faculty who try to help students with study abroad courses. And so we have had faculty leading students to places like Costa Rica and China, Brazil, and Thailand. And um, it is the faculty that I, I think is really what makes this department special. Our faculty hold high expectations, but they also help students to meet those expectations. Some of them are scholars, widely recognized. Others are widely recognized as writers but they still put their emphasis on working with students and helping the students to achieve what they need to achieve. And so that's what makes me really proud to be a member of the Department of English Languages and Cultures. Social Works at Savannah State is very unique and it's like um, a diamond. When you find a diamond that has many different colors, many facets, it's very shiny and beautiful. Uh, there are many, many facets to it, like a diamond, you know. And um, the, the important thing to remember is that social work is an interdisciplinary profession and it, it teaches you to work with people from birth to death, uh, people of all ages and people with all sorts of uh, issues in their lives, you know, from um, children who have uh, failure to thrive, children who are abused. Um, but sometimes also it deals with prevention and helping children to grow up healthy, you know, to provide safety for children. Uh, and for um, one of the newest things that, that's come around, not only at Savannah, but nationally, is prevention prevention of substance abuse, prevention of child abuse, prevention of domestic violence, and working people who are victims of that. And so that, um, that is part of it. Besides, we have um, two concentrations. We have a clinical concentration, which teaches our students and prepares them to um, work as therapists in the field, as counselors in the field, working with a variety of different types of people. And then um, a planning and administration track, which also prepares our students for going out in the world and helping them develop better programs for people. The Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences, or SBS, is a dynamic research-oriented department. It focuses on the application of new knowledge and understandings about cultural processes, social issues, and human behavior. SBS offers an array of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degree programs and minors. These programs include Africana Studies, Behavior Analysis, which is a perspective of psychology, Criminal Justice, and History and Sociology. Several courses offer interdisciplinary approaches, guest lecturers, and unique out-of-classroom experiences to enhance students' learning experiences. In addition, the SBS faculty work closely with students to prepare them for graduate school and placement in high-profile research and clinical internships as they pursue their academic and professional goals. Want more information about the Department of Social and Behavioral Sciences? Visit us online at savannastate.edu. What a wonderful look at class. When we return, we take a special look at the Civil War brought to Savannah State through a joint collaboration between class and the Asa Gordon Library here on campus.
stay tuned. You're watching Teaching with Class. The School of Teacher Education at Savannah State University offers students the opportunity to become certified teachers in the areas of biology, engineering, and mathematics. The school provides teacher candidates with field experience and clinical practices to serve the diverse needs of today's students. If you want to prepare for a teaching career in STEM technology, then choose the School of Teacher Education at Savannah State University. You can teach anywhere from here. In the College of Science and Technology at Savannah State University, students can specialize in unique areas of study, including marine science and forensic science. The STEM 360 program also engages elementary students in science projects that ignite a passion for science that's sure to last a lifetime. At the College by the Sea, you can get anywhere from here. The College of Science and Technology at Savannah State University. The College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, or CLASS, is the largest college at Savannah State University and also provides the core curriculum for all majors and offers accredited graduate and undergraduate programs taught in the state-of-the-art facilities, featuring engagement initiatives that provide access to business professionals, community leaders, and a legacy of excellence. In preparation for life and career, make your decision to study with CLASS. to teaching with class. Faculty from class and Savannah State University library staff came together to bring an extremely informative Civil War reenactment to the campus. The reenactment was open to the public, but we know some of you weren't able to make it out for the event. We have all the information for you here on teaching with class. Let's take a look. Well, this uh, Civil War 150 program is in collaboration with the Savannah State University Library, and they have received several grants to uh, present a program honoring the 150th commemoration of the uh, Civil War. This all came about as the result of a grant that Dean Mary Jo Fialian and some of the other librarians received actually before I came to Savannah State University because it will be two years in January that I'm here. So as the Outreach Services Librarian, I'm the one who helps coordinate any of the programs that the library produces. So when I was hired, she brought me on board with this, showed me the fundamentals of the grant they had received and what they had planned thus far. Then it was decided that we would collaborate with the History Department Dr. Bell was the natural choice. She came in and after a few meetings, it was decided that she would use her connections to bring in one of the reenactors from one of the historic forts here in Savannah. It's mostly an educational event, um, submerge them in things that are happening. This grant is from the Gilder Learman Institute of American History. They did a huge exhibit and round of grants celebrating the 150 years since the American Civil War. They have a lot of educational material out there. Some of it is superb for K through 12. We have embedded the virtual exhibit that the Gear de Lumen has up on a website on the library's homepage. We're just hoping that with the reenactor, this gives people an opportunity to kind of experience some of the things that an African American soldier in particular would have gone through if he enlisted to fight in the Civil War. And we hope it makes it a little bit more personal than simply reading it in a textbook or hearing a plain lecture. I think that uh, in Savannah, uh, you know, it's an interesting um, city in terms of its uh, relationship with the Civil War. Sherman marched to Savannah uh, from, you know, Atlanta and um, didn't burn the city down. And I think, that, um, I think that it's good that we are recognizing the African Americans and their role in the Civil War. I think a lot of times when you visit Civil War sites in Savannah, it's, uh, you're visiting uh, Confederate memorials. And so I think this will be a nice change for us to consider and commemorate the role of African Americans and their contributions to the war. 
And so uh, I think that um, uh, having the perspective of uh, women's involvement uh, in the Civil War as spies and as soldiers and having uh, the perspective of so-called contraband who followed Union troops seeking freedom and uh, the impact of the Special Field Order Number 15 or 40 Acres and a Mule and uh, the impact that had on the local African American community. Uh, all of these things will kind of put things in perspective and give us context to the war. Instead of it being uh, one-sided and a loss for the Confederacy and looking at it perhaps as some may think as a war of northern aggression, we're looking at it from the perspective of how the war impacted those on the margins. African American, African Americans, women, children, uh, and, and people who are normally not considered when we think about the Civil War in a southern city. Well, you know, there were uh, African Americans who fought on both sides of, uh, of the war. So there were some African Americans who were forced into combat uh, for the Confederacy uh, and who were serving uh, their owners uh, as, uh, who, who were fighting for the Confederacy. And then there were African Americans who volunteered their service to the Union Army and served with the uh, United States Colored Troops. And these men uh, felt as if they were fighting for their race and their country. And it was an opportunity for them to um, fight alongside other men. I think that uh, for the most part, what black men wanted when they wanted to serve, and black men have always served this country uh, um, since the War for Independence, I think one thing they always wanted was just to be considered men. And so in order for them to um, establish themselves as men and not property, uh, they wanted to fight for this country alongside white men. Uh, and I think that this was a way for them to achieve manhood uh, and that status of, of um, manhood and personhood, uh, the, the fighting for your country and serving uh, was a way to achieve that and it was one thing they really wanted to do. Even after the Civil War, in freedom, uh, one of the first things men asked for uh, when they were asked, what do you want now that you are free, a lot of them wanted to be uh, considered for service for, uh, for their country in the military. So um, I think as far as uh, African American men, uh, I think they, they really wanted to pursue uh, serving their country and, and fighting for freedom. Uh, African American women served uh, as a support system for black men serving in the Civil War. Um, a lot of times these men left their loved ones at home and so black women served by uh, keeping morale up and uh, you know those who could write uh, wrote letters to uh, some, some of the African American soldiers. Some of these black women had to, many of them had to during the war while they were enslaved not only keep up uh, their work on the plantation and working for the owners in their homes, but also in their own private homes and taking care of their own families. So the women have to kind of pick up the burden during this time. And you also had black women who were serving as nurses uh, during the Civil War for African American troops, uh, like Susie King Taylor uh, from right here in Savannah who, who served. Uh, there were women who served as spies and provided intelligence for the Union Army, like Harriet Tubman and others. Uh, women who disguised themselves as soldiers and fought alongside men. So black women are to be commended for their service. 
uh, and for their support of the Union Army and specifically United States Colored Troops. There is a news section on the library's homepage where you can read about upcoming events. We are also active on social media, so the library does have its own Facebook page where we constantly update and post about events and activities that are happening. That is totally accessible to anybody out in the community. It's not password protected, has great timelines, um, audio clips video and other links that really dig down into the knit and grit of the Civil War, its causes, different areas that were affected, different roles that different parts of the communities in the North and the South played. It's a fabulous exhibit and we're real excited to help bring access to that to the community. While in collaboration with the library, we asked the staff about its availability to the community. The Asa H. Gordon Library is open to the community on a somewhat limited basis. They do not have access to all of our scholarly resources, but we do have two computers in the lobby that are available for community use. They do not require a Savannah State logon, and if they needed assistance with any of our other resources, of course, any of the librarians would be more than happy to assist them. The School of Teacher Education at Savannah State University offers students the opportunity to become certified teachers in the areas of biology, engineering, and mathematics. The school provides teacher candidates with field experience and clinical practices to serve the diverse needs of today's students. If you want to prepare for a teaching career in STEM technology, then choose the School of Teacher Education at Savannah State University. You can teach anywhere from here. In the College of Science and Technology at Savannah State University, students can specialize in unique areas of study, including marine science and forensic science. The STEM 360 program also engages elementary students in science projects that ignite a passion for science that's sure to last a lifetime. At the College by the Sea, you can get anywhere from here. The College of Science and Technology at Savannah State University. The College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, or CLASS, is the largest college at Savannah State University and also provides the core curriculum for all majors and offers accredited graduate and undergraduate programs taught in the state-of-the-art facilities, featuring engagement initiatives that provide access to business professionals, community leaders, and a legacy of excellence. In preparation for life and career, make your decision to study with CLASS. to thank you for tuning in to Teaching with Class. We invite you to join us again. We'll be bringing you new programs monthly. I am Wanda Lloyd. And I am Dr. Symmetria McFall Dickerson. See you next time. And don't forget, you can visit us anytime at www.savannastate.edu.